they run up and send this one away. On the return, Devin DuVernay. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. Early part of his career, defenses really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. David Onyemata there on the tackle. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. He's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. On the option right is Jackson. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. On second down, Samuel. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Mahomes now the throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and ten, here's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Parsons. Touchdown! A great play there. 33 yards. And the Vikings are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return is Duvernay. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who could run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football in the backfield, to be able to get him in the second round? That's what I call a steal. 
This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll make it third and one. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking for Hill again. This time it's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mahomes throw taken in by Adams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now it's Mahomes again. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Yeah, it's all. Touchdown, Vikings. A big play there. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Oh, the return is Duvernay. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. It's a first down and more for Dobbins. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. Raven's going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's Hill on the return. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. He'll let this go for the end zone. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Tyreek Hill as time expires in the first half. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. On oh, the return is Duvernay. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this belongs to the Vikings. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. Too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. On second down now, Samuel. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Debo Samuel, 28 yards. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Can't have a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. An option handoff here to Dobbins. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. 20, 10. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return, a scoop and score for the Vikings. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Rodrigo Blankenship on for the PAT. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. On oh, the return is Duvernay. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Second down and 12 at the 19-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Now Hill to return it. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They'll run on first down. Samuel. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. 52 yards on the ground for him so far. They'll keep it on the ground. Samuel. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here, first and 10. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
On the return is Duvernay. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Jackson now. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that'll lead here to a third down. And Jackson throwing once more. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 25-yard line. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. The 40. If you He's at me, the 30. You do this, too. 10. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. On the return is Duvernay. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, and suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to...